In my investigation, if I really want to dig in and learn about wolves and wolf dogs and compare the two, there's no better place than right here. There's no better place. No, we have it all. This is your Petri dish. This is an experimental place where you can see all the different degrees from pure wolf to total dog. I know wolves pretty well, and I know dogs pretty well, but sometimes it's hard to tell who's who. Leighton brings out White Wolf Flurry on the left and Husky Dog Zodiac on the right. Look at this. I mean, here we go. Canine action. So this is a lot of stuff happening. This right is here. called ritual domination. <laughs> the wolf is, isn't interested in being super dominant, but he is absolutely interested in making sure this dog knows that he's in charge. <laughs> But what's, what's being said by the dog is that he's not going to give in. The tail says, I'm not going to completely submit to you. I get it. I get it you're in charge. You've made that point, but I'm still going to keep my tail up. The tail gives away more than mood. It's a major clue to canine identity. See that tail? It's, it's so curled over. A wolf tail can't curl over. This is as high as it gets, pretty much, right in here. See, and it's not, not getting tight and curling over. The wolf's tail doesn't curl. The dog's tail does. Ears, wolves are rounded. Dogs are pointier. Teeth, wolves, steak knives. Dogs, not so much. Wolf bite, 1,500 pounds per square inch. About twice as strong as a dog. <laughs> And that's just for crushing bones, grabbing on and hanging on. Tearing meat. Kibbles and bits, elk and deer. Elk and deer, yep.